Hi everyone, it's Victor from Courageous Trust. Welcome back to Let's Talk About Sex and Gender, the series where we'll present you, discuss with you, and answer your questions on sexuality and gender identity issues such as SSA, gender confusion, conversion therapy bans, therapies, laws and equality, and more related. We believe that everyone is free to choose their life direction and no one should restrain their personal decision. Same goes with professional counselors, therapists and pastors whose research and knowledge are based on what God and science have to say about SSA and gender. After our first episode, which you can watch here, we decided to post another one every two Fridays. So this is the schedule we'll try to stick to. We launched Pilgrim's Way, a new discipleship series that will root believers in the Word of God and equip them to be aligned with God's purposes and plans in their lives. Simon and Fiona White are hosting this new series. The first episode, called The Journey, is out there on Facebook and YouTube for those of you who haven't watched it yet. Stay tuned on Facebook and Instagram to know when the next episode goes live. A new webpage has just been launched for the IFTZ Conference 2021 in Hungary, entitled Supporting and Counseling Those Living LGBT Identities and Behaviors. The page features all major presentations from our world-renowned speakers as well as their profiles. Clips are to be translated in Hungarian and other countries have the option to translate it if they would like to. Some of the topics you'll find there are same-sex parenting, sexual attraction fluidity, pastoral care, transgender issues and many more. A report by Global Project Against Hate and Extremism highlighted Courageous Trust, Exile Loud and IFTCC, among others, accusing us of extremism, hate and false information about conversion therapy. It provides a list of organizations it sees as needing to be addressed. They are also offering a list of recommendations to be followed by social media, especially YouTube, who is not doing enough to point people to authoritative information. And here is the irony, one of the founders of the project says this, uh, when people in Ireland google phrases such as I don't want to be gay or is it a sin to be gay, they can be directed there. There being places where they would be offered this coercive therapy. But the very fact that people google phrases like that tells me that they don't want to live like that. So pray for those fronting this project, GPAHE, that their links to other organizations and funders would be transparent and that their hearts would be changed. The so-called fact-checkers are hardly objective. Reclaim the Net says this, The 80 organizations are based in more than 40 countries and call themselves independent nor partisan. But most of them are obscure groups whose backing and funding is often non-transparent, making it difficult for anyone to fact-check their claim to independence and political neutrality. They also put pressure on YouTube to improve their censorship algorithms and to punish more aggressively with demonetization. John 16 says that the world will trouble us for our beliefs, for the truth we uphold, for our testimonies. Times of persecution are coming, but more than that it says that Jesus has already overcome the world. And this is our hope. The world doesn't like Jesus for who he is, they like him for who they say he is. They took a character which Jesus never attributed to himself, and they stick that to Jesus. That's the Jesus they want to worship, the God of their vain imaginations the God that loves everything they love and hates everything they hate. As truly 2 Timothy 4 says, for the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. And that's exactly what happens in today's society. God's image is being distorted in all possible ways. His name is being blasphemed through all these attributes he never claimed to be his. Love is love, be who you want to be, born gay, genderless ideologies. But God cannot be mocked, Galatians 6-7. In due time, truth will burst with power. Until then, it's about those who know the truth. Will you stand up for it or go with the current of this corrupted world? Thanks for watching until the end. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and stay updated with our news by following us on social media. If that's on your heart, you can donate to our ministry on the first link in the description box. That's how you'll contribute to advancing our book, Exo Loud, Emerging XLGBT Voices to a Bigger Public, to reach out to more people who need help and support, and to hold up the banner of Righteousness of God. Peace out there.